Welcome to Tom and Ben News United Kingdom and we start with a quick viewers news from Talking Tom and Friends channel who says that Jason David Frank, the Power Rangers actor, has died at the age of 49. New York City police rushed to rescue a man who fell onto subway tracks. Princess Kate suits up for her first appearance in Boston, Massachusetts with Prince William and Sherlock Holmes authors Rural Retreat is up for sale. To other news now, and Fleetwood Mac keyboardist and vocalist Christy McVie has died at the age of 79, her family has said. The British sing-songwriter was behind hits including Little Lies, Everywhere, Don't Stop, Say You Love Me and Songbird. She died peacefully at a hospital in the company of her family after a short illness. McVie left Fleetwood Mac after 28 years in 1998, but returned in 2014. The family statement said we would like everyone to keep Christine in their hearts and remember the life of an incredible human being and revered musician who was loved universally. Fleetwood Mac became one of the world's best-known rock bands in the 1970s and 80s. The UK Health Security Agency has confirmed that six children have died with an invasive condition caused by Strep A, including five under 10-year-olds in England since September. A girl from Wales has also died, but there have been no deaths confirmed in either Scotland or Northern Ireland. Strep A infections are normally mild, but people can become seriously ill. Parents concerned about their child symptoms should seek medical advice, the UK Health Security Agency has advised. While still uncommon, there has been an increase in invasive Group A strep cases this year, particularly in children under 10. The TSSA has served notice for strikes in a further six train operating companies and network rail just hours after meetings with a government minister in the long-running dispute over jobs pay and conditions. The Transport Salary Staffs Association Union said thousands of its members will walk out on December 17th alongside a campaign of other forms of industrial action across a dozen companies. They said further industrial action over the Christmas and New Year period is being actively considered. The G7 Group and its allies have officially approved a cap on the price of Russian oil. In a joint statement, the G7 and Australia said the price cap would come into force today or very soon thereafter. It comes after the European Union agreed on the price cap after persuading Poland to back it. The plan which stops countries paying more than $60, 57 euros or 48 pounds a barrel needed the agreement of all EU states. Poland announced its support on Friday after being reassured the cap would be kept at 5% lower than the market rate. A price cap was put forward by the G7 Group of Nations in September and aims to stop Moscow profiting from oil exports while avoiding a price spike. A devolution deal handing more powers to Cornwall has now been formally offered. The deal will transfer new money and power into the hands of local leaders, according to the government. But it hinges on the controversial and unresolved issue of whether the county should have a directly elected mayor. Cornwall Council's Conservative leader, Linda Taylor, said it would allow us to make future plans with confidence. On Tuesday, the decision on whether to hold a referendum on the issue was deferred until the end of a public consultation. The 10-week consultation is set to begin on the 9th of December. The pound has reached a four-month high against the dollar last week. Hopes that Chinese lockdowns will begin to lift have made American interest rates slow. The lockdowns in China caused a significantly lower amount of economic activity in the country and disrupted supply chains. On Thursday, one pound would buy close to $1.23. The pound was up 1.62% against the dollar at $1.23 and was 0.68 higher against the euro at €1.17 at the close. There is breaking news coming in that a third teenager has now been charged over the murders of two boys a mile apart in London. Colonel Solanke was stabbed in the Thamesmead area and Charlie Botolo was found with stab wounds in Abbey Wood on Saturday last week. Both boys were 16 years of age. Husson Bach, aged 18, of South East London, was arrested on Friday and has appeared at Bromley Magistrates Court charged with the murders. He was remanded in custody to appear at the Old Bailey tomorrow. A fierce Arctic blast from northern Norway will hit the UK this month, with experts warning it will go from fridge to freezer weather. 
The low pressure system is likely to cause widespread travel problems on days where the UK is set to be crippled by mass strikes. Despite this, the mild autumn has kept 2022 on track to be the UK's hottest year on record, the Met Office has said. The UK would need a December of near-record cold weather to stop this year ending up as the warmest in records going back to 1884. And finally, the text message has celebrated its 30th birthday. The first was sent to a mobile phone by a Vodafone engineer in Berkshire in the UK on the 3rd of December 1992. It was sent in order to test out the tech and read, Merry Christmas. Neil Papworth sent it to one of the firm's bosses, Richard Jarvis, who was at the Christmas party. He did not get a reply. Mr Jarvis's phone, a new to the market Orbital 901, weighed 2.1 kilograms, roughly the same as 12 standard iPhone 14s. At its peak, phone users exchanged billions of short message service messages every year, and in 2010 the word texting entered the dictionary. To your weather now, and it is mostly cloudy tonight with just the odd shower around and a few spells of rain in the far north as we head into Tuesday. A northerly flow looks to develop as we head into Tuesday. Sunny spells and blustery showers mainly to the north and east and possibly wintry on the hills. Largely dry but cold on Wednesday with sunshine for many, however wintry showers can be expected along northern coasts, likely to be caused by that low pressure system we mentioned earlier in the news. And that is the weather. That's all today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe, follow us on our Facebook page, listed down below, and see you next week. Also, if we reach 100 subscribers by next week, which is December 12th, then we shall make the next episode a 100 subscriber special.